At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester City versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Bernardo Silva plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. Thank you for attending Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Stones. Diaz. Gvardiol. And it's Ruben Diaz. Walker. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Well, Arsenal have started this game really well and look a threat every time they go forward. Yes, the keeper's made a very good save, but he may need to make a few more before the end of this one. That's effective pressure high up the pitch. Holland. Oh, he fancies his chances. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Declan Rice. The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. Walker. Gvardiol. Doku. Walker. On to Haaland. Oh, great. Is it going to be? Oh, there's the goal that gives City the lead in the final. Will it prove to be decisive? Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. Well, just look at Pep's celebration. He really is loving life at this particular point. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? A 
and it's Gabriel Jesus that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances could run very much in control of the situation really poor timing and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card well deemed to have been a cautionable offence well no question about it he deserved his booking there he could pick out a teammate no degree of difficulty at all for the keeper Diesch. Walker now spraying passes around almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake and they have possession again Gabriel Foden has a go and not cleared away properly and holding on to it at the second time of asking keeper not concentrating and he has options available Kai Havertz and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Rodri now a potentially dangerous position for City Holland and after the cross a tremendous block now counter attacking possibilities here oh managing to beat him cuts it back commanding goalkeeping Martin Odegaard and a throw in for Arsenal the defenders know you can't really allow space like that but timely defending when it mattered. Foden. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Foden. They stopped them in their tracks. Silva. Declan Rice. Teammates available. Rice. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Danger averted. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now, here at Wembley. So into the second half, and Arsenal with a bit of work ahead of them.
Oh, good looking run. Oh, that's fine defensive play. Counter attacking, very much an option. And they just let his opponent glide by. And that is offside. Declan Rice. It's with Erdegaard. Arsenal regaining possession. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Gabriel. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva losing out to his opponent. Arsenal pushing forward with options available, but the danger averted for now. Oh, nice ball over the top. Well read to win possession back. Gabriel Jesus. Holland. And a strong tackle. 30 minutes left for play. Saka. Lots of space for Arsenal. Crossing opportunity. Ben White. And a very good challenge. Phil Foden. Now with Silva. Doku. Dangerous ball. And an ordinary header. And that's probably being charitable. Arsenal finding space on the wing. Oh, great attacking play. Looking for a teammate. Keeper did his job to begin with. And mopping up defensively. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Determined defending. And he keeps going. And a goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Into the final 20 minutes. And a fine tackle. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. And beyond the byline, goal kick then. Did well to win the ball back. Oh, great play. And it's a quality pass. Well, he certainly caught all of that, but was never going to trouble the keeper in the end. Goal kick it is.
Well, as we've seen, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and they've looked pretty threatening with it. Surely they get back into this game playing as they are. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else. He has time to play it over. De Bruyne. And City get the throw in. And it's played into the centre. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. City move it forward with purpose. Hold on! Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt. A long way wide. And time for the change now. Jorginho. White. A super tackle and they've won possession. And players waiting in the centre. He cuts it back. In it goes! And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw it away from here. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And Haaland made the finish look easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. Well, Pep looks very pleased, doesn't he? His side are in complete control here, that's for sure. So the back arms away with the lead standing at 2-0. Smith Rowe. Well, no two ways about it, Stuart. City absolutely cruising to victory today. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Has a go. And a fine stop. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Corner awarded to Arsenal. Well, the keeper made that look relatively easy. In truth, it wasn't. Edison. Stones. De Bruyne now. Foden. And now Stones rewarded for that brilliant high press. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Corner kick given to Arsenal. And there it is, the final whistle. Cup success is theirs, and they've done it on merit. Look at these scenes. Well, on the evidence of the game as well, they deserve it. They were excellent throughout. What a good performance that was. And you can see, can't you, what it means to every single one of them. Yeah, they've been a real team today. Really good spirit and a great performance. And now they prepare to walk together in anticipation of the trophy presentation. Well, it's now just beginning to sink in. They are the winners of this great cup. Any second now, they'll be able to hold it aloft. All congratulating each other, and rightly so. The sweet taste of success. And they don't want to let go of that trophy, do they? Absolutely not. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been brilliant throughout the tournament.
been a top class performance from them and their fans Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.